Welcome Arisen. It's a couple of years since I created 3xDA Save, a character editor for Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. And now that we have hit release number 5, I thought it's time to make a more complete video tutorial that includes all the added features that came over the year. So if you downloaded my mod on nexusmods.com you will have this zip file which contains three files an items xml that just has to be there the dd save tool which was created by fluffy quack so all kudos to him he made an incredible tool to decrypt and encrypt save files and 3xda save itself so to set it up correctly it's very important that you give it its own folder I can't state this enough. It has to have its own folder. Don't put it into the save folder itself or the game folder because we create a copy of your save file while editing it. And if the file we copy and the folder we edit it in is the same, it will delete your save file. We can't restore it from there. Be aware of that. So we put it into a new folder and start 3xda save for the first time. You will be greeted with this dialog. You have seen uh, it already created a couple of files. It needs to work. And if you have the GOG version of Dragon's Dogma, you already set up. You can just hit the OK button and it will work. If you have Steam, Press the but I want to use Steam button, it will tell you the usual path to your uh, Steam save file. If you haven't changed anything on Steam, this will be where you find it. So you can set it up and everything will be fine. So the first time it will take a couple of seconds while it gets your save file. You see here is our original save file and the decoded save file. And in the editor itself, we've got our current values. On the first tab, you see everything regarding your arisen, your level, your XP, the vocation you have, etc. If you never edited a save file I recommend using one of my uh, presets so you get valid values you can use a character planner from another website and just put the values here you get from that planner that will work also and of course you can do the same thing with your pawn but I highly recommend against it this game has so many sanity checks that if you change the values of your pawn you run high risk of getting your pawn banned so nobody can rent it anymore uh, so if this feature is important to you don't edit your pawn ever if you're an offline player do what you want the next step is uh, inventory of your arisen so you see uh, which slots are filled on your inventory with the item ID of the item you carry there and the quality of this item. You can set all your items to Golden Dragonforge with one click here or set it manually to one of the tiers you have a list down here. Um, if you want to change one item to another there is an item list so let's say you want a special bow the Blackwing bow, so the item ID is uh, 797. You would put the 797 here and you have it in game. Same for the pawn and again you run risk of being banned if you change your pawn. The risk is pretty low in regards of items because you could change them offline then go online and uh, everything would be fine 
stats can't be changed so stats are more risky and if you see a value of negative one that means this slot is blank there's no item equipped there don't just overwrite this with the item you want it will work you will have the item in game you can use it but if you unequip it it would either disappear or you can't re-equip it that's because if you override a negative one value this new item will be created with an item count of zero so practically it doesn't exist i recommend going to a merchant buying the cheapest equipment there is just get every slot filled then go into the editor change it to the item you want and everything is fine on the world tab you can change a few different things the first is the sky if you are in post game you know the sky turns dark you can put it back to light at this point um, but be aware that um, regions that changed heavily in post game like uh, Grand Soren there will be some graphical glitches because they change the textures and there will be uh, dark and light textures that overlap and it, it's not beautiful but it works then you can change to your beloved and uh, whom you given the arisen spawn. This also works in post game. So if you are in post game and you have the wrong beloved in your hut, you can just change it here and the next time you're in your game, you have a different beloved, the one you want. Um, currencies, gold and rift crystals, just put in the value you want and you got it. Discipline points, however, are a little bit more tricky. They are split between Arisen and Pawn. Again, Pawn is at risk of being banned. And the Risen has a strange point cap. Um, if you create a new Arisen, and exceed this cap through the editor, your save game will be corrupted and can't be loaded anymore. If you play the game and exceed this cap naturally, you can get more. As you see in my save file, I have nearly double. I don't know why that is. So you could set it to the limit go into a game, uh, get a few more points, 100, 150, and then get into the editor and use a higher value. But not on the first try. I, I don't know why, just accept it. That's how it works. Then you can unlock your character editor. That's what you can buy from Jonathan and the military cap in post game. So you get your um, character editor in the main menu and can change the appearance of your Arisen and your pawn at every time. And in addition to that you get a few new hairstyles, uh, hair colors, skin tones, so you can make a blue Arisen with purple hair. Whatever. Whatever makes you happy. And of course you can set the knowledge of your pawn for, qu uh, for quests and bestiary to a maximum. And again, broken record here, risk being banned. But it works and uh, yeah that's uh, the world tab next will be the save tab uh, this is a little bit like a save game manager you see we have one save game here that's the one we imported now at the first start of the editor and with restore to game you can write it back directly to your game. So this is an active save game you have the next time your game starts. So in theory you could have multiple save files uh, for, I don't know, post-game, pre-game, Everfall, Dragon Fight, whatever, and switch freely between them. Um, if you use the restore to editor, 
you just get your save file back into the editor to see what's what you exactly have in there if you then put um, cancel and close nothing will change only if you say safe and close it will be written back to the game this can be useful if you uh, have a corrupted save and just want to check which value is off so you can repair it and of course you can rename your save um, I will just do this right here because this is the first time we imported a save file ever so I, I know this is a unedited save file which definitely will ever work it's my I fall back save if I ever lose my save files and of course if you use this editor for a while this list will be get pretty full because it makes a backup every time you start with 3xda save and all save files you don't want you can just delete it it's gone and it's really gone it's not in your recycle bin or somewhere it's really really gone so be sure you want to delete it before hitting the button and of course we got a disclaimer a few informations about me you can read it you can leave it it's up to you and that's all so I hope this video was helpful and as always stay strong and kill a dragon.